Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a powerful strat for the bar game site on the new reworked Shelle. Now in my opinion, this is the best site on this map after the recent changes to the map. And uh, before we start, I'd just like to go ahead and thank Jake Jen and Crisp Slices for helping out with this video. Now uh, let's get into the video, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Okay, so I'm going to start going over the operators and uh, how they should set up and where they're going to be playing during the round. Uh, I don't want to waste your time, so we're just going to get right into this. Uh, I'm going to go over castle first, okay? Uh, now, for castle's loadout, you're going to need the super shorty. I would not recommend the primary shotgun since the UMP has gotten the uh, buff of the 1.5x optic, okay? Uh, and castle will be holding some long angles, so I would definitely not recommend the primary shotgun here. But I'm just going to start going over the castle placements, okay? So for the first one, you're going to want to put it right on sight, okay? Uh, just watching the bar door. Right. This castle is really helpful for Vigil and Maestro. Vigil's gonna play upstairs and Maestro's in here. I'll show you why in one moment right when we get upstairs. Okay, now that we're upstairs, you're gonna be castling off this doorway into piano. This is just to make it a little bit harder to uh, get control of this long hallway right here. And also, uh, we should be reinforcing these walls, but this is not your job as castle. And then for your last castle, I'm gonna go ahead and slap this down right here. Uh, and this castle will be protecting Vigil, who uh, is gonna play on this short part of this balcony. Uh, and the reason why this castle is there is because attackers are going to have to go up to that castle to hit it, or, uh, or sledge it, or breach charge it, whichever method they choose to destroy that castle with. They're going to have to walk up to it, unless it's an Ash or Zofia, obviously, uh, then this castle won't be as effective as it would have been. Um, but, Vigil can play right here, and whenever someone goes to walk up to that castle, they can just shoot him. And that is the reason why we put that castle right there. Um... Now, castles should be taking the proximity mines here. I'll show you where uh, I recommend that you put these. You can take his other option, which, man, I'm really not sure what it is, but I would really strongly recommend the uh, proximity alarms just for this specific strat, okay? This hallway gives attackers pretty easy access to both sites, so that's a uh, bar and games in here, okay? So you're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna invest a lot of utility into keeping this hallway uh, safe, closed, whatever you wanna call it. So uh, I'm gonna slap down one of these proximity alarms right here so when an attacker decides to swing around this corner they'll get beeped and uh, they won't be able to see it until they're uh, beeped by it it will beep you right here because these do work off line of sight okay and uh, you can try to you can try to hide it in the plan it's still pretty visible and if you guys can find a, uh, a more creative spot for this proximity alarm I encourage you to share it with me via discord or the comments and I'd uh, always be happy to check it out if you find a more creative spot I tried putting it in the roof it didn't work unfortunately um, next up for your last castle or your uh, sorry your proximity alarm you can go ahead and throw it under this not like that go ahead and throw it under right there like that on the wall it's harder to see and it will beep just about everything it is vulnerable from uh, blue stairs but these two castle or sheesh these two um, proximity alarms are just so attackers aren't going to be able to crouch walk up into your, into your sight without you knowing, okay? These things will go off of that sneaky Ash main's just vibing along in here and just trying to sneak into sight and kill the Maestro and plant and all that fun jazz. Now, that's uh, that's basically it for Castle's site setup, okay? That's all Castle has to do in the prep phase. He doesn't have anything to reinforce, just since those Castle barricades take a while to put down, including the proxy alarms, Okay. Now, for Castle's playing position during the round, he's going to hold down the library, which is this room right here. Okay, now, this room is much easier to hold now that there's not 45 windows in here. There's only these two, okay? And this one right here really isn't that big of a deal. It's not very threatening since these two bookshelves cut off most of the angles you can get into this room. All right? Now, what I'm going to do in here as Castle is... I'm going to show you guys the thing, okay? You can hop up on top of here, hold the ladder right outside while the debris is blocking it. Okay, that's kind of frustrating. You can hop up on top of this, hold the ladder outside, I hope you can see it, it's right there. Make sure you're not exposed to the spawn, okay? So make sure you're a little bit to the right here. But uh, attackers can repel outside there now, which is which is kind of hard for you as Castle holding this angle. If you hear them repel, just disengage the angle. But if attackers do come up the ladder, it's a free kill for you, okay? Great way to get an early pick. And then after you're off that angle, you can always play out here to help hold this. Or you can play here, watch the window, or even in here. Um, these are all just, you know, it's up to you where you play. But as Castle, your job is to hold library and uh, obviously take take callouts from your teammates who are making callouts, right? This Vigil says he needs help. If Jaeger says he needs help over on the blue stairs, go ahead and help them. But if they are pushing your library, you're going to want to keep this locked down. And there is one other reason why library is super strong here. It's because of this angle. If you pop this hatch, all right, you get a pretty sweet angle outside, uh, outside the window. And you can always help the site players by almost setting up a crossfire on the, this window right here, okay? I can just go ahead and hold a crossfire there. 
And then this hatch is, uh, is helpful as well, just to help hold the, uh, the bar doors, okay? Uh, this one isn't as good as that one in there, as the other one in library, okay? But I would still recommend opening this up, just so you can use it later in the round. And, uh, that should be it for Castle. Okay, now I'm gonna be going over Jaeger's job, uh, during the prep phase and his play position during the round, okay? So for Jaeger's loadout, you're gonna want the 416. Uh, I mean, there's rare circumstances where the, uh, M870 is viable, but this is not one of them. Okay, and, uh, the barbed wire. This is just super useful on this site to have to help reinforce this hallway, right? Remember, like I mentioned earlier, this is a very, uh, popular hallway to get access to both of these sites. So if you're a first barbed wire placement, you're gonna want to smack it down right in this little choke point right here. Okay, now this is pretty helpful for, uh, to, to let, again, that maestro in there know if someone's gonna go ahead and crouch walk through here. You definitely don't want that. Okay, and, uh, for the last piece of barbed wire, you only get two, unfortunately. You're gonna put it right on these blue stairs at the bottom, okay? Now, this really won't give you opportunities to get a kill, but what this will do is alert you as Jaeger, who's gonna be playing right here on these blue staircases. And I'll show you why this angle is strong in a second. But uh, it's to alert you if you're getting pushed from below, so you know which angles to avoid, okay? Now for the ADS placements. Pretty simple here. You're gonna wanna slap one down behind this A chassis, okay? Uh, this is just to prevent Smoke's shield, which is going to be set up right here from getting naded. Alright, that's a pretty basic one. Then you're going to want to go ahead and give Maestro, who's going to be playing behind the bar, another one. Smack that thing down right in bar. Um, pretty understandable as well. And then moving on to the last one, you're going to want to give this to yourself. Okay, you do need an ADS here because there are some cool grenade lineups that you can get from here. Such as, uh, if you get control of blue stairs, you can just go ahead and huck a nade through there. It'll bounce off, kill you as Jaeger. And, uh, you definitely don't want that happening, so an ADS here is recommended. Okay, okay? Now for Jaeger's play position during the round. And, uh, like I, uh, said about castle, okay? Jaeger shouldn't be reinforcing anything. Two barbed wire, three ADSs, that's a lot to do during the prep phase. He's just simply not gonna have time. Okay? Now, uh, let's just, uh, go over Jaeger's play position, okay? Now, Jaeger is one of the more dynamic parts of this strategy, which means he has the opportunity to move around a lot. But, uh, this staircase right here is a really powerful position to help out people above and to help out people below, okay? This hallway right here, like, this is the third time I've mentioned it now, this hallway is super popular for attackers to push, and when attackers are put into a frenzied state in the last 30 seconds of the round, and they're like, oh wow, we need to rush right now, we need to rush through this hallway to get access to site, otherwise we're about to lose this round, if you come and you have this locked down still, it's free kills, they're sitting ducks, okay, obviously it's not free kills, you can't just, like, wide swing on this and hope to get free frags, um, but... Holding this position is so powerful in the last minute of the round. Now, in the first two minutes of the round, I wouldn't recommend playing right here on the staircase, okay? At least holding the bottom part. Uh, as Jaeger, in the first two minutes of the round, you want to be supporting your people above, okay? So that's Castle and Library and Vigil over on Short, all right? If one of these two people gets picked off, you can always go ahead and take their position and then just rotate down back to the blue stairs at the, uh, at the last minute of the round where you're going to be most effective there. But uh, if neither of these guys get picked off... Um, you really shouldn't be, uh, be moving too much, and, uh, obviously if they request help and they say, wow, they're pushing me, K9 really heavily, I need your help, or they're, they're about to rush me library, I need your help, Jaeger, I uh, go ahead and help them, obviously. Uh, most important thing you can be doing as Jaeger is, uh, taking callouts from your teammates, so that means listening to them when they're telling you someone's pushing somewhere. As Jaeger, you don't need to make too many callouts, uh, you could call out for there, there's not much intel you're gonna have as Jaeger. Uh, just playing on the staircase, okay? Hopefully that all makes sense. That should be it for Jaeger. We'll move on now. Right, now we're going to be covering Vigil. And uh, Vigil during the prep phase has, uh, I don't want to say a lot to do, but he has a considerable amount of stuff to do, so make sure you don't slack off with that. Now Vigil has to reinforce six walls during the prep phase. So that's probably going to be about 40 seconds of reinforcements, including the times it takes for you to run to uh, each spot, okay? So you're going to want to get this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, and then these two walls here. Okay, remember, there will be a castle here, and these two reinforcements are just to help reinforce this position for Jaeger, who will be playing blue stairs. All right, because this angle, if they pop this wall and uh, can get the angle on Jaeger, he'll probably not be able to help you out above as much as he could. Also, uh, um, these walls are here just to protect castle, obviously, inside a library from the canine window. Okay, now uh, let's just go ahead and reinforce these. Okay, now that we've gotten that done, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you where Vigil should be playing during the round, okay? Now, right here, this is called short. My team calls this, uh, short part of the balcony up here short. This part is long. There is an entire video on all of the new chalet callouts up on my YouTube channel. I will link that in the description as well as a couple other things. Okay, but the reason Vigil should play here, and this window will be castled by castle, okay? If you haven't watched the castle part of this video yet, 
Castle should throw a barricade down here for you. And this is just to uh, slow down the attackers if they're trying to clear you out from this angle. All right, now the reason I decided to uh, recommend Vigil here is because of this multiple floor stacking, okay? Whenever there's a balcony like this uh, above a big room, okay, it's really helpful to have Vigil because Vigil's, um, Vigil's utility works on, uh, on, like, it works vertically too, okay? So if they go ahead and drone East Main or Fireplace, whatever the hell you guys call that, uh, this room down here, if they go ahead and drone that, you could be, uh, in this room, you could be in basement, or you could be up here, which is where you are. And you just want to make sure that the attackers aren't super aware of what you're doing, because of one of these angles that you can get later in the round that I'll show you right now. Okay, so remember, Castle should be throwing a castle right on this doorway, and, um, that means the attackers have to walk up to it to break it, unless it's an Ash or a Zofia, obviously. Um, that is the exception in which, uh, this, this castle is not as powerful as it would have been. Okay, but if it's a sledge, a breach charge, or nothing like that, and they just have to stab the door, you can kill them really easily from up here. They are very exposed. Okay, but you can't sit over this ledge the entire time. You'll get killed from there, you'll get naded from below. There's a thousand things that could go wrong here. So what you need to do is you need to take callouts from your maestro who's playing in sight. All right, your maestro is going to say, hey, dude, there's a guy about to sledge open my bar door, or there's a guy hitting my bar door, or there's a guy placing a breach charge. So you as Vigil know, I'm going to go swing that and kill that. But you need to selectively use this uh, this swing here, okay? Because you need to, you can't hold it. You will die. Um, you will die holding this like I am right now, okay? And uh, that's, you can basically just overwatch the entirety of East Main, which is why this position up here is powerful. But you can't hold it, unfortunately, because like I said, you'll die. Okay, last up, the reason I decided to take Vigil with impacts is uh, because of this rotation right here. All right, if I'm getting pressured from this window and I don't think I have time to run all the way back there, uh, without getting murdered from the window. Okay, I can go ahead and slap this rotation in the wall right here. But one thing I would not recommend doing is uh, actually making this rotation early in the round. You want to make this rotation right when you need it, okay? And that is just because if the attackers drone you up here, you need to try to not let them know what you're doing as much as you possibly can. So if you have, if you don't have a rotate here, they're really not going to be uh, thinking about you rotating through this wall. So you can just pop this rotate right when you need it. Once they start uh, pounding on this uh, armor panels, what the castle gadget is called, um, you can just pop that impact. And uh, another helpful angle I found with that impact is you can run all the way over here. And if they are breach charging your castle window, or if they do get it open, okay, you can always run out here, punch a hole in this doorway, shoot the guys, kill them, scurry away like the little rat you are, uh, and then come back and hold your, uh, hold your east main. Hopefully everything I just explained to you with Vigil makes sense, and I'm probably gonna be, gonna be moving on to the site players now. Hi everyone, during this short intermission, I would like to remind you that I do stream on Twitch during the weekends, and I would really appreciate it if you took the time out of your day to stop by my channel and leave a follow, and maybe even catch one of the streams if you can find time to. I'll leave a link in the description to my Twitch channel, and obviously you don't have to click it, but uh, I'd be really grateful if you did, and your strat video should resume right about now. All right, so we're smoke, okay? Um, I'm gonna be good. I'm going to be going over the smoke part of this setup now. Okay, smoke should really only need to reinforce two things. He's gonna go ahead and reinforce this wall right here in bar stock, or my team will just shorten this to stock uh, when we do play this map. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and reinforce the stock wall as well as the uh, as well as the game's wall, okay, and you're not gonna do both of these, because you're gonna need to rotate here, and I'll show you why in one minute, but, uh, just to cover Smoke's loadout briefly, you're gonna wanna be taking the shotgun SMG shield setup here, okay, uh, the, the barbed on Smoke just isn't as good, the shield's so strong, especially since it got buffed, uh, and you do need the shotgun to make those rotation holes, alright, uh, so I'm gonna recommend you put your shield right here on bar stock, just to, uh, make this position a little bit more playable, and that's why this reinforcement is here. So you can play here off your shield in case they're, if they're actually in there and the shield gets destroyed. You have a safe place to play this off your shield. And let me show you this rotate right here, okay? Now for this rotate, you're gonna want to make it as far to the right as you can. Okay? And I want to try to keep it as small as I possibly can. Um, and I'll show you why in a minute. But, uh, that looks perfect, actually. I wouldn't make a rotate bigger than this, because you don't want to give the attackers enough time, like, which means enough space over here, which translates to enough space over here, to kill you if you have to rotate out of here. So if they're, if they're about to nade my shield, if they're about to bombard me with nades from a variety of places, maybe this door, you want to be able to cross here safely. Look how little time I'm exposed when this rotate's small. Now let's, uh, I'll give you an example of this rotate this big, and it's across like this, and if it's, make sure this is vaultable. Guys, really important that this is vaultable. 
uh, because this wall will block out quite a bit of the damage that the attackers are trying to shoot you through this wall, and uh, it kind of just acts as a little mini shield. It's not super effective, but it can save your life a couple times. All right, now let's look how long we're exposed to that window over there if this rotate is as long as it is right now, okay? Look how much longer we're exposed to the window, okay? We can get killed there. If the rotate's only half of this, or maybe even less than half, you're not gonna get killed. And one thing that I'm always very careful of when I'm making this rotate is that I'm not shotgunning out this wall. This will screw Meister over who's playing by the bar, okay? Now, Smoke, during the round, obviously, you're just gonna be playing in bar stock. Your job is to hold games, okay? Um, and in games, there's a couple things that you can do, okay? Now, obviously, since we have... Man, I really wish I wouldn't have made this now. Uh, whatever. But, um, if, since... Pretend that this is only half a rotate, right? It's only this this half side. Look, right down the middle there. Just this half side is live, okay? So I can come down here, and I can go ahead and, uh... Get a smoke over by that window. Which can really help deny pushes and deny plants. As well as, I can use this rotate to, uh, cut off the door in bar. Okay? I mean, sorry. No, this is bar. I am brain dead. Okay, you can use it to cut off the bar door, you can just cut off both bar doors, and the, uh, hallway door, okay? So you can smoke those three positions from this rotate, uh, which is just a really helpful thing. And also you can use this rotate to actually rotate between the sites if you end up losing control of bar somehow. Um, and as smoke, your goal is kind of just to deny games. This room's called games here. Okay, now don't play here, and your sh your shield should be reinforced by an ADS right here. If Jaeger doesn't give that to you, you're going to be very vulnerable. Make sure Jaeger will give that to you. But as Smoke, make sure you're making callouts about where you're getting pushed, okay? If you're getting pushed from this hallway, you need to call that out to Jaeger so we can come down and swing it. If you're getting pushed from this window, uh, make sure that you let Castle, who's going to be playing above this hatch, know. So we can take advantage of the angle you get from this hatch onto the window, okay? And remember, as smoke, your goal is just to stay alive as long as possible and use those smoke canisters to deny pushes and plants later in the round. Alright? And you can always uh, take over for Maestro if he gets killed. Alright, hopefully smoke's role in this strat makes sense. I'm gonna move on to Maestro now. Alright, I'm gonna be going over Maestro's role in this strategy now, okay? So as Maestro, you're gonna want to bring the barbed wire since there's no rotations that you need to make. Smoke will be covering the rotation on site for you. There are two reinforcements you're gonna want to slap down right across these uh, two bar doors here. All right, looks good. Um, these walls are kind of just to make sure that the attackers don't get a ton of good angles onto you who's playing behind the bar in sight, or even behind this couch if you need. Now, for Maestro's barbed wire placements, remember how much I've talked about this hallway right here, okay? Now, this hallway is where you're vulnerable from as a defender on this site, so you're gonna wanna reinforce this position with barbed wire, and uh, I'm just gonna put one piece of barbed wire right on this mud room door. Uh, this room's called mud room, and attackers can get a really speedy uh, access point to the sites if they take mud room, okay? So I'm gonna put barbed wire here to make sure I know if the attackers are coming from mud room, and I'm gonna put the last piece of barbed wire under the window in sight. Now, I usually would not recommend doing this, okay? Okay. There's a very specific reason why the barbed wire here works and is good. Um, once an attacker jumps in this window, they're going to be slowed by the barbed wire, okay? And smoke can't always be peeking that shield, especially if it gets destroyed, so it's going to serve as a slowing tool and a notification if someone jumps in this window for the smoke. Also, the castle up there, alright? But combined with smoke's utility, which does damage over time, if I can keep someone in one area for a certain amount of time, or more time than usual, it's gonna do more damage. All right, so this barbed wire really helps Smoke uh, get that extra damage in once he uses his uh, smoke canisters to deny the push in from this window on the uh, with the barbed wire. Okay, Maestro cans, you're gonna go ahead and slap one right here, okay? You can put this deeper into the site uh, if you feel it's necessary. I like to put this one right here just so I can look outside this window, okay? It's really useful for Castle uh, if he can see what's going on outside this window, and as well as a plant denial tool, okay? This is a really common spot for attackers to plant behind this little uh, A bomb chassis right here. Let's go plant right there, and uh, I can zap him out with my Maestro thing. I can shoot out any utility they decide to throw in sight. That's drones, a um, variety of other things. I'm gonna go ahead and slam this Maestro can down right here, okay? This can watch. Uh, quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna hop on it and show you, okay? We can watch the dining push, okay? Zap, zap, right? We can watch the bottom blue stairs push. We can watch the top blue stair push. If Jaeger loses his position above, we can watch the mudroom push out, all right? We can even watch bar if we lose it. We can sort of watch uh, a push in from East Main or Fireplace, which is the room to our left in here. Now, I can't get my crosshair over there, but uh, you can still see, right? And uh, this, is, this is a really common hallway to send drones through, all right? So you can always go zap, zap to the drones and... Uh, Deny that utility for attackers, which is super useful. Okay. 
Now, Maestro during the round, you're simply going to be playing behind the bar, okay? But there is one thing you can really do to help your teammates out here, okay? Now, this, this door should be castled. If Castle has not barricaded this door, you need to let him know he needs to barricade that door. Because that's super important here, okay? Um, and that's just barricaded uh, as a normal barricade since I don't have Castle available in my single-person uh, custom, okay? So, for this barricade, if someone goes ahead, if someone is in East Main and they start pounding on this barricade, if they're knifing it, about to breach charge it, sledge it, you need to let Vigil know, okay? If you hear any audio cues from this doorway, you need to let Vigil, who's going to be playing short, know about someone being right here so we can go ahead and peek over that railing and get a free kill on the person by this door, okay? It's a super powerful angle for Vigil, but it doesn't work unless you call it out as Maestro. Okay, now as Maestro in sight, you need to be making a lot of callouts. You need to be making callouts based off your cams, okay? And one of you, either Smoke or Maestro, should be playing on the cameras in the first half of the round, okay? Because you're really not going to be seeing a lot of sight presence, uh, at least a lot of sight action as anchors in the first half of the round. So I would go ahead, hop on those cameras, let the roamers know where they're, where uh, people are pushing. Okay, so if they're uh, if they're coming here, that's a really useful camera. Always hop in those maestros, deny that utility, shoot out those drones, those free drones, okay? And uh, hold down bar, remember, make callouts about the story, make callouts uh, off this hallway, okay? And always, you can take callouts. If smoke dies as maestro, it's kind of hard to hold this site, all right? Uh, it's, I mean, it's more important to hold this site Okay, so if smoke dies, you can always rotate over here and just hold this window, hold that hallway um, from his little setup here. Okay, but if smoke isn't dead, you probably shouldn't be rotating over there because he, he should have that covered. All right, now that should be uh, that should be about it for this strategy. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>